Hey Moon Magic family, welcome back to the channel and welcome to anyone who is new to my readings. In today's readings, we are asking, what is the new moon in Taurus bringing you to significantly upgrade your life? The energy of this new moon is absolutely primed for transformation. It's like, can I open a doorway for you and please step through it, like right here, right now. It, what doorway is this new moon opening for you? What is the energy of this new moon bringing to significantly upgrade your life? Now we are going to draw three cards together. I'm already seeing this one. And in fact, this one and this one. We'll also draw some runes as well. I've got a beautiful talking stick here and um, a beautiful piece of flint, also known as a hagstone. It has a hole in it. Um, they used to use these... Um, in boat building actually when again new beginnings bringing good luck they they always would find a hole a stone with a hole in it a piece of flint with a natural hole in it and hang it on the very front of the boat literally as they were building it while it was still in construction to bring it good luck and this piece actually has a beautiful face in it so we have some really really good earth energy with us today so how interesting we have uh, the first card for reading one is Pisces, Sensitize. Okay, so that is the card to guide in for reading one. Reading two, we have Taurus, Cultivate. And reading three, we have Mars, Motion. Okay, how interesting. Now, I'm going to draw some runes as well. For those of you that like that bit of extra information, Super Souls, if you know which of these readings, these cards is already speaking to you, the timestamps, as always, are in the description box and in the pinned comment. So you'll be able to zap straight through if you literally, if these cards are already singing to you and resonating with you. But let's draw runes as well and also a charm too. Maybe even more than one charm I'm hearing. So reading one, you have the rune of harvest. This is Jira. Reading two, you have the rune of Perth, initiation. And reading three, Suelo, the rune of wholeness. Okay, let's draw charms. Okay. How interesting, there's a few, I'm literally feeling just to, to, sometimes I will literally just draw one, but I am hearing absolutely more. Okay, wow, I'm just gonna show you what these are. I'll leave them then on the card. Now, reading one, you have the key with the skull, you have the music notes, you have the little swans, I always think they're kind of in love. Can you see they, they make that heart shape together? And also the lucky horseshoe. So those are the charms for reading one. Okay. Reading two, you have love. You have the bells. You have a butterfly. You have a lizard and you have the flamingo. Let me show those to you. So those are connected with reading two. And reading three, you have the peace sign. You have the eye of Horus. You have a spiral. You have a heart. You have a star and also a cross. Okay, show those to you. Beautiful. Okay, so beautiful souls, listen to your intuition, sit with the cards, the, uh, the runes, the charms, as long as you need to. I'll press um, the pause button and, and just let it, let it literally sit in, in position for a little bit longer um, before I switch off the video, just to give you guys a little bit more time. Um, Super Souls, um, 
I will see you in the readings. Tons and tons of love. I am really, really excited. There is an incredibly, gosh, powerful and feels very earthy kind of energy. Maybe it's just these beautiful pieces of nature coming in. But yeah, very interesting energy around these cards already and around your readings for today. Um, also, Super Souls, of course, I do... If you're expecting an archangel reading, because I normally do angel readings around the new and the full moons, I've actually done an archangel Michael message for every single zodiac sign already. And they are posted in the video that I posted earlier in the week with the rundown for the entire moon month. It's looking to be a really intense um, yeah, very intense energy for this moon month. So really, really interesting to see what this new moon is actually bringing in these readings for you. But anyway, do check that out. I'll see if I can put a link at the end of the video as well for you. Beautiful souls, I will see you in the readings. Tons of love. Hey, beautiful pile one, welcome to your reading. You have the rune of harvest, Jira, and what magnificent charms. I mean, th this is a key that doesn't just open a door, it opens any door. You know, we are asking, what is this new moon, the energy of this new moon bringing to upgrade your life significantly? This is any door can be opened. Sensitize. Pisces, the lucky horseshoe. Hmm. I'm going to dive straight into more cards rather than stay with your main card. Sometimes a big message comes through just with that very first card. Okay, we'll just see what your tea leaves are showing us first. Candle, you will be shown the way. And crown, honour and respect will come to you. How interesting. Can we move that up a little bit and still have everything in camera? I think we can. Great. Mm. Yeah. You will be shown the way. Honour and respect will come to you. I feel like I want to say your crowning glory. Okay. What is pile one's crowning glory? What is coming to beautiful pile one? Here we have more information. And I'm seeing... Actually, it's this one. Okay, and draw, whoops, another oracle card. Now, I'm not going to take all three, but I will take the one on the top there. Okay, what do we have here? Well, you have, okay, you have the card of protection. We have the bear energy. You have the card of clarity with the fox. Hmm, this is really interesting. With a necklace of charms. Transformation, we've got the fly agaric mushrooms here. And our beautiful moon showing up here twice for you. The full moon coming. Okay, I think, I think something beautiful souls is going to happen between this new moon and the full moon. Okay. We have the card of growth, the green man. How interesting. You're emerging. You know, like when you, um, I'm really tuning into that energy of birth. You know, when we are, whenever we're born, it's a bit of a risky time, isn't it? You know, our, our arrival. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a risky time. We've kind of got to arrive. We've got to pass through something. You're going to be shown the way. There's something coming to you. You're crowning glory. You're going to be seen in a position maybe of leadership. My goodness me, you're being supported. Whatever is going on in your world right now, my beautiful souls, if you have been feeling that luck is just not with you, my beautiful pile ones, this is about to change. Ginkgo breakthrough. Yeah, absolutely. This is about to change. And I think it's going to change radically and quickly. Okay, we have Mars with Uranus here. You know, Ginkgo is really ancient. 
It's a really ancient energy. It's one of the oldest trees. I think they have found like the leaves fossilized, if I recall correctly. I'm sure I've read about that somewhere. The leaves fossilized, you know, just back to the times of dinosaurs. So there's something about your wisdom, your awareness, sensitize Pisces you're being shown the way okay I'm going to draw just a few more cards before we say any more but your reading is becoming clearer coming back to your crowning glory as well let's draw from one of our tarot packs may we have information for pile one what is going to significantly upgrade pile one's life what is happening for pile number one. I'm actually seeing those three cards. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. How interesting. We have the Seven of Pentacles. How interesting. Can you see this? Um, just here we have that spider's web on the moon with the fox. And look at all these spider's webs here. With this beautiful spider. We then have the King of Cups. And look at that crown. Look at that crown, beautiful souls. Yes, your crowning glory. So my beautiful pile one. Firstly, I need to say to you, there is something going on around you that you are actually not okay about. Okay. It's, I think, it's been affecting you quite significantly. You may even have felt like, I don't know, like there's daggers around you. You know, when people are perhaps unkind or they're playing games behind your back or you've actually, to some extent, even some of you have withdrawn a little bit. Now, what's going to significantly upgrade your life? And I'm going to draw more cards for you as well because I want to know how you're going to be shown the way or if we're given more information. This is going to um, kind of, basically there's going to be a breakthrough moment where I feel like you're liberated. So there's going to be a need to navigate with, it's like you're going to have to stay on your toes around this situation. You know, with our Seven of Pentacles, we've got choices here this spider's web you know foxes are clever you know they're 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 thinkers when they're being you know hounded they'll go to ground that they but they know they're wise basically they're wise they're they're adaptable they're versatile now it's very very interesting because we have the energy of the bear, if you think of a, a medicine wheel, the energy of the bear is like the west. It's the place where we hibernate. So I feel you've had to go to ground a bit. Eight of swords. There's just been, and even even trying to retreat a bit. It's like the whole circumstance that's around around this circumstance, this situation. It's it's prodded at your sensitivity here. Now, I think it's really really interesting that we have. If we think about the medicine wheel energy that's really coming through strongly here because I sort of feel the fox has that kind of element of, I mean, the fox is associated or this card is associated with, with Lamas, which is a time of harvest. It's August time. It's a time of harvest. We're bringing things in. The green man is also associated with the summer solstice. So very powerful time of um, masculine energy when when we can take charge and there's a lot of beautiful there's a little um, beautiful little dragonfly up here transformation and the king of cups your crowning glory honor and respect will come to you I think you've had to hold firm around something and there's been opposition against you maybe you've had to dig your heels in if you if there's a contract going on around you and you've you've been trying to sort of navigate what's right um, keep at it because it's going to come to fruition and it's going to work out for you there's going to be a breakthrough here you're going to be shown what you need to see in order to move something forwards 
you have more choices than you realize, okay? I think you've been feeling a bit powerless, like you you don't quite know. And, and partly this is because I think there's stuff going on and to some extent you're being kept in the dark. You're, you don't actually know what's driving all of the external pieces of the stuff that's going on around you. I mean, for some of you, there may be more than one thing, but I think for many of you, there is a particular circumstance. It's left you feeling quite vulnerable, very sensitive. And it has longer, you're very aware that there are longer term implications around this. This is one of those scenarios where what you do now is going to make a difference to how it pans out in the future. So this is longer term, a longer term potential outcome that you're navigating at the moment. But you you have been kept in the dark to some extent. You, you're not being given every piece of information. Now, you have far more choice than you realise. What this new moon is bringing to significantly upgrade your life is an opportunity for you to make choices. Literally, you will be shown the way. It's like I said, this is not just one doorway, this, this key with the skull. It opens every doorway. I think you are being protected and you're being guided because in many ways you, I mean, you will be the person I think yeah, it's the crown and glory. I think you do have the right solution. You're walking the right pathway. You're going to come into a position of, of power. Whereas at the moment, you're feeling very powerless, almost as if a bit like a kind of a sitting duck. You know where just when you think you know what you're doing next, you get another email or another call or something else happens. And it's like, oh, now I've got to respond to that. This energy of the new moon in Taurus, and it really is primed for transformation, the way that it is going to significantly upgrade your life is that doorway after doorway will be opened for you. I said right at the beginning, when I was drawing the first cards, actually, you know, it's like the energy is primed. It, it's like the universe is saying, look, I'm going to give you a doorway. Please, please, please just step through it. You know, do it. This is time to take action. And that shift in energy is totally working for you. Whatever has been, whatever the ab absolute, um, I don't know, I'm going to say the re a relationship or um, situationship is perhaps a better way of saying it. Whatever that is for you in the uniqueness of your world, it's going to move forwards. You are going to need to react quite quickly. Yeah, making choices, making decisions, thinking about it and taking action. It's not a time, this is not going to be a, a time to pause. If you haven't yet checked out that bigger video with the moon energy, you might want to do that. Seriously, pile one, because it is an intense, there's some really intense pockets of energetic flow. And I actually do think, um, yeah, I actually do think this is going to be, it's like this energy, the new moon is activating change. And that change is going to be doorway after doorway after doorway, but you have the key. You'll be given the key, you'll be shown the way, literally. Um, this is a real month for you to trust. Significant things are gonna happen that are going to move you into a position where you are, um, you're very empowered. I don't think it's even like one breakthrough. It's kind of like breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough. I, I feel like the universe is lining up those doorways for you. Let's draw some more cards. I'm going to draw from a traditional tarot pack actually now, just to ask for a bit more information for you, pile one. But really, truly, the upgrade that's coming is literally going to be a shift from this position where you're feeling powerless, whatever's happening in your world, to a position where you are very much in power, your crowning glory. May we ask if we can be given more information for pile one, please? May we have more information for pile one? May we ask for more information for pile one, please? Thank you. May we have more information for pile one, please? May we have 
have more information, please, for pile one. Hmm, I'll take that one. What do we have here? Now, it's interesting, the first card that we have here is harvest. Now, I think this is really interesting as well because you have the rune of harvest, you have the empress, you're reaping in the harvest here, okay? And if you think about the green man, summer solstice, we're not at a harvest time, but we are in a position of empowerment. There's a lot of energy around. And Lamas, um, which is associated with the fox, is a time of harvest. So I think something is literally going to reach a, a conclusion, that breakthrough energy. Yes, Eight of Cups. This is about you making choices. Some of you may literally make a choice to walk away for some, from something. Okay. Yeah, you're walking away from something that has been a significant burden to you. I mean, and really, this has been really affecting you. Really, really affecting you quite badly, actually. It's really weighing heavy. You've really been in a, a zone where you've just felt that you're never going to be able to... Almost like you're never going to be free of it. That's what I feel like. Never going to be free of it. It's it sent you constantly kind of... Try, I think you've been trying to work out almost as if you feel like the only way to deal with this is to walk away, um, to go to ground, to get away from something, to retreat. But that's changing. That's shifting. That's changing. Mm, can a moon do this? Yes, I think absolutely. The energy of this moon is bringing you luck. It's going to bring you Doorway after doorway after doorway will open. That will enable you to step into a position of empowerment. It's that breakthrough. The Mars energy to push things through forwards. But honestly, it's going to be snappy. It's going to be fast. I'm going to say you're going to love it. This is like, you know, when the right person comes at the right time. And you get to have a voice in a situation where you haven't had a voice, okay? You kind of get to sing and you're respected, you're crowning glory. What I'm loving, Pile One, really loving in your reading, is that, yeah, do you know, I, I feel like you thought this would never, ever, ever get sorted. I feel like you just, it, it's been hanging around for far too long. It's, it really does. It, it, con it concludes. It properly concludes. It's not even, I did say this is, this is a reading where whatever comes to you is not a quick fix. It's life changing for your future. Yeah, whatever this situation ship, it's gone on a long time. The information in your reading is really clear, Pa One. I think doorway after doorway will open. You are going to be guided. You will be shown the way. It's going to be fast paced. There'll be choices that you need to make. This is not a time to step away. It's a time to step up. You'll get the opportunity to walk away from something if you wish when it's concluded. But when you do, you'll be doing it from a position of power. You're crowning glory. You won't be walking away, going to ground, retreating because you just need to recoup. You're going to be walking away if you're choosing to because you're empowered to do so and actually it's the right thing to do and these are your decisions and you'll also do do this with fairness and compassion. Yeah, this is literally a shift from feeling powerless to absolutely standing in your own power. That breakthrough moment. Part one, this is a monumental shift. It is a monumental turning point and it is significantly upgrading your life because this has been clinging, holding you back, getting in the way. And now that's changing. Beautiful souls. It is incredibly transformative. Incredibly transformative because, yeah, this, is, this has been such a heavy, there's been such a heavy energy around it. We'll just draw a couple more cards to ask you know what is this what's what's this stuff going on just feel like you've been kept in the dark here i mean what was this all about 
Why were you kept in the dark? Okay, so we have the full new beginnings. Okay, King of Pentacles. Hmm, okay. Yeah, that figures. Okay, and then the Queen of Wands. Okay. I want to say there's been more than one thing going on here, beautiful souls. I think partly what's taking place is, is some of you have been engaged with somebody who's maybe haven't but they haven't been upfront or honest about their own agenda there's been a bit of greed a bit of envy involved you know when somebody behind the scenes is working away and you know there's just there's just stuff going on that isn't really it was never really yours to carry this is actually now changing and the soul growth for you and this is the bigger lesson really because the soul growth for you is is about stepping into your own power having a voice knowing that you you are not helpless that whatever is going on you have the right to choose and so even if we meet somebody who's not giving us all the information even if we meet someone who's creating difficulty drama crisis however that is you know and whatever the root of it ultimately ultimately these are the kind of people who bring us the most phenomenal amount of soul growth <laughs> they're really really hard work <laughs> you know they just when you end up feeling so kind of for some of you even targeted i think but do you know what the soul growth in it is phenomenal because once you reach a point where you're really, really ready to own your position and you really know that you are and you and the universe, because this is what's happening with the new moon, the new moon energy is assisting you. The new moon energy is saying, right, I'm going to now unlock doorway after doorway after doorway after doorway. Please step through and step through and step through and step through. We're guiding you. We're protecting you. We're looking after you. We're, you'll have to make choices and decisions along the way. But you're really ready for this. And as you make those choices and decisions, you're literally stepping into a position of power, respect, honour. I think you'll be seen as well. You know, if there's been stuff going on behind the scenes, you're going to be seen in a really different way, a really positive way. And whatever it is that has been getting in the way, slowing you down, causing you to feel not okay, ultra, ultra sensitive, that's shifting. And it's the energy of this new moon that is bringing this shift for you, pile one. Wow. This is a big reading. I mean, really breakthrough. I mean, it kind of says it all. It's a big reading pile one. Beautiful souls, I am sending you so, so much love. Um, this is changing your future because once you're in this zone of personal empowerment and being seen, there's been stuff going on, honestly. Once you are seen, visibly seen to be who you really are, I feel like there's no stopping you. And what is gorgeous, you know, is that your sensitivity is actually becoming an asset. Whereas I think your sensitivity has created, at times, real vulnerability, particularly, you see, in a way, your sensitivity is very beautiful. There's a, a kind of an innocence about it. But of course, people pick up on that, don't they? Uh, you know, people who are a little bit tangled in themselves, maybe even a little bit narcissistic. Some of you might have someone around you who's a bit narcissistic, I feel, causing drama, causing problems, and you end up feeling like you have to kind of hide, you can't be visible. Something gets fixed around this, and your sensitivity allows you to navigate with genuine thought and care. You're going to, this is your crowning moment, you're really going to step into your own power, but with such authenticity, and such genuineness, whereas that genuineness has been almost targeted, I think, a little bit, your purity, that's what I want to say, you're a really pure person, you've been targeted for your purity, but actually your purity is going to become 
like a it's going to become your sword your sword of truth and you're going and your your own personal sword of truth and justice with compassion and i think you'll be seen to be really really very wise and because of the choices you'll make and this is what's happening for you it's it's, it's life changing it really is pile 1 and i'm so sorry this has been going on but honestly at a soul growth level you have um you've probably needed to meet somebody like this in order to in order to do this level of upgrade and and i would venture to say i think it goes back to past lives as well where you've had experiences where you were genuinely powerless i'm not saying you haven't been powerless here but there is a big shift from powerlessness to very very strong empowerment look at the queen of wands wow so yeah we're, sh we're seeing that shift here and the universe literally protecting you supporting you guiding you i think you've had from a past life an experience where you were utterly powerless and the almost i think for some of you like political climate that you were in you know of that age of that era you know just you couldn't move forwards you you could not defend yourself it was just not possible and you've brought something of that with you to fix this time around this is the moment where it kind of gets sorted and you are now navigating from a position of empowerment and strength and it's the shift that the new moon is bringing the energy to make this absolutely possible i mean i really want to say to you the universe has your back a thousand percent on this one and whatever has been Ugh, limiting restricted targeting Ugh, it's got a real not okay feel around it i can really feel or oh, how you have experienced this but wow yep lots of um versatility adaptability i think fa a fast-paced time coming for you from this um new moon but my goodness me wow i i think the first two weeks especially between the new moon and the full moon are really going to be happening for you so keep on top of it this is a time to step through every doorway that you're offered um, because we're seeing real benefit coming to you. Real, real benefit, creating a long-term future. Pile one, I'm sending you the biggest, biggest hug in the world ever, ever, ever. Um, so, so much love to you. Thank you for joining me for these readings. Um, do check that Moon Month out, um, that Moon Month video. It really, really, I'll, I'll stick a link in the um, description box and in the pinned comment for you to find it because honestly um, if you are aware of the way that the energy flow is happening you may find it really really helpful to you tons and tons of love to you super souls thank you so much for liking sharing subscribing all of these things really help to support the channel thank you to those of you who are joining me on patreon as well where i do my bigger um, all zodiac sign readings super souls just sending you all the love in the world and just, um, yeah, look forward to seeing you for another reading soon. Tons of love to you. Hey, beautiful pile too. I just wanted to pick up your amazing set of charms. We have the lizard, the dream time, love, the flamingo, the, the transformational energy of the butterfly. And I always think of um, these bells as like wedding bells. Okay, now, if any of you are manifesting love, I think this may be the way in which the universe is going to significantly be offering you an upgrade and the energy of this new moon is primed to assist you. This rune, Initiation, Perth, it's, it suggests you're going to be almost like passing through I want to say a gateway or a birth canal or but something landing that that you can then cultivate to bring it forth but let's let's just draw a ton more cards and let's see what we are shown for pile two okay so those are flying out already so we have torch this is really interesting spiritual development enlightenment awareness and understanding a dark woman Dealings with a woman with dark complexion or hair. What is your third haystack? Ah, this is really interesting. I, although it says karma, you will reap what you have sown. Do you know what I'm really seeing here? It's like an, it's that needle in a haystack. Um, 
yeah, needle in a haystack. And who is carrying a torch for you? Or who are you carrying a torch for? Or what are you carrying a torch for? What is it you're dreaming in that you want to bring in? There's something that feels like it's been a needle in a haystack for you to find it. I said it could be connected to love, to relationship. For some of you, it may be. If you have struggled to find love or you have felt it's been really hard to find the one, like a needle in a haystack, I think that person may be coming or this new moon may create a window of opportunity for you. However, there's something about approaching it with Perth, the rune of initiation. There's something about approaching it steadily, cultivate it. Don't be like a bull in a china shop. Don't try and force it or make it happen. Well, let's draw more cards for you, beautiful pile two. May we have more information. What is this new moon bringing to upgrade, significantly upgrade the lives of pile two, please? May we have information for pile two. Sing this card. May we have information for pile two. May we have information for pile two. And I think I'll just draw one from this pack as well. Okay, so what do we have first of all? We have the death card. How interesting. So we are talking real rebirth, as it were. Arriving. We then have otter, playful energy, beautiful, and hope. Ha! Yes, it is. It feels like there's been something you've really, really wanted to bring in. For some of you, it could well be love. I'm seeing these two Robins, this partnership here. But, you know, for some of you, it could be love. Um, you've been trying to birth something into the world to manifest it for, a, I, I think, for quite a while. If it's not love, it's whatever it is. It, it's, this is something that you've car you've car you have carried a torch for this for a long, long time. And it has honestly felt like a needle in the haystack. Now, I'm seeing a dark woman assisting you in some way with this. So I would say, especially we have another dark woman here as well. How interesting. And then we have Lavender and another dark woman. Okay. And this is a card of Mercury communication. Now, Lavender is so interesting as a herb, you know, um, it's healing properties. It's lavender is an adaptogen. That's what it's known as, which means that the healing goes where it's needed. So for example, if you were using a crystal for healing, if you use it with lavender, then lavender will take the energy to exactly the right place to take it where it's needed. I think um, someone is going to come into your, your life, this new moon, I think you're going to be guided by a dark haired or dark, a woman with a dark complexion or dark hair. She may even be bringing you a message. She'll be showing you the way. She'll be opening a door for you. Could be introducing you to someone, leading to some form of transformation. We have that butterfly energy of transformation. This is something you have dreamed of. It's something you've wanted. It's felt like it is a needle in a haystack. For you to find it, you pro possibly have honestly thought you never would. For some of you, it could be love, it could be partnership. I think you've even at times wondered whether it was worth still carrying that torch, whether it would ever happen. But I think this new moon energy is literally creating an energetic around you where the energy of that torch will happen. I, I'm not seeing it happen fast. I'm seeing it happen, I want to say, I'm seeing it happen joyfully, playfully. I think it may be in a social setting with the energy of Otter. Um, it may be in a social setting. Like you might even go to a wedding. We've got the wedding bells here. 
We might even be, go to, the, to a wedding. I mean, if, if, for example, you're already very happy in a relationship and you're not looking to extend your relationship status in any way and your dream, that needle in the haystack is something else. Let's say you're a writer and you're looking for a publishing deal, for example. You know, you, you might find yourself going to a party or a wedding and, you know, you end up sitting next to somebody who introduces you then to someone who for that doorway to open it, it's a social playful environment and hope is re-established it, it's the perfect pairing the perfect match so if this is a job for example or that publishing deal or a um, it's something you've wanted you've carried a torch for it for a long time and the passageway is going to come literally that rite of passage that passageway someone coming and giving you exactly the right piece of information. I do think it will be connected to a, a woman, a dark haired woman or dark complexion, but she's the bringer of the message of the information you need to be able to make that passage. And I do think it's, it's going to come in a light hearted, joyful, playful way. And whatever comes, it's the perfect match for you. It's the perfect fit. So it's something you really, really wanted. May we have more information for pile two, please. May we have more information. This is super sweet, super sweet and super, super exciting. May we have more information for pile two, please. May we have more information for pile two. I actually seeing that one there. Okay. What do we have? We have Queen of Cups. Oh, that is a beautiful energy. We have the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. How interesting. Hmm. Oh, this is, um, this is really super sweet. Now, you may kind of be wondering, you know, with a card like the Nine of Swords, which is a bit of a dark night of the soul, really, isn't it? You know, why am I thinking this is super sweet? I, I just feel like there's a, a renewal here. I think it's like something that you've carried a torch for. You thought it was a needle in a haystack. You may even have honestly almost kind of like given up hope to some extent or just, you know, when you just resign yourself, that is the word that's coming through. When you resign yourself to something, you keep dreaming of it, but you kind of intermittently swing from dreaming of it and then thinking it'll never happen. Something is coming into your world that's going to indicate to you that you are excessively worrying. You kind of need to get out your own way here. And I think someone's coming in to assist you, to help you with this passage, with a communication. They'll say something to you that lifts you or shows you the way. There is a big, big yeah, passageway opening. I think passageway, rather than a doorway, it feels like a passage, like there is a, to get from one place to the, to the other. And, and you need to walk through that passage, but you are going to receive assistance or a piece of information. It could be an invitation to something. And it's the place you need to go. Lavender takes the healing where it needs to go. I think you, it may literally be physically a place or a party or a social gathering, an invitation arriving. And you may even be reticent to go because you've kind of lost, lost hope over something. Really, this is a good time to go. Anything that is going to get you out of your own way, get you out of your own head, is where you're needing to be going. There is definitely a situation that is going to come along, a circumstance, a communication, an invitation, a phone call, or someone just, you could bump into somebody and they'll just say, you know, um, hey, have you, do you want to come to this? I'm going to that, or da, 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 da. There's something coming in. And that something, that someone is 
possibly knowingly, but maybe unknowingly, just saying, come and chill out and hang out. We're going for a picnic, whatever it is. Or come and join this group. Whatever it is, they are the instigator of the beginning of that passage where you then meet the thing or the person or the circumstance that you have been carrying a torch for for ages. So it could seem like quite a random event for some of you or a random invitation, but honestly, it's bringing about new beginnings. It's like putting you in the right place at the right time. And there's no need to rush at this. The biggest thing is about getting out of your own way. I just feel like this is the most beautiful, there's a really lovely warmth, an earthy nurturing warmth of, it's got that flavor of, um, you know, sometimes I have a most beautiful angel. In fact, I might just reach it for you. Hang on a second, because it's just on the other side of my desk. So I just reached over for my green aventurian angel. Green aventurian, it, it's a really nurturing energy. And I always feel when I, I carry this angel or I bring it into a reading, I feel like, like my my guides have just like wrapped a, a beautiful blanket over my shoulders and I'm just I'm just held and I'm nurtured and I'm looked after and somehow it, it's but it's not a static kind of energy okay it's not like I'm I'm being nurtured to stay still or to be cocooned I'm I'm being nurtured to walk forwards and that's what it feels like I'm going to bring this into your reading and just place it down here but it's a beautiful beautiful energy Let's draw some more cards for you, um, Pile 2. I, I do think this is a someone coming in, so watch out for an invitation or a chance meeting or a, a communication. However it comes, it does feel as if it is connected to a female um, with dark hair, possibly long dark hair. Okay. May I oh, have some more cards for our beautiful pile too, please. May we have more information. Yes, don't hold back if that invitation comes. I'm really hearing that. Again, you don't have to force this to happen. This is the time when the energy of the new moon is primed for transformation. So whatever it is that you are wanting and seeking, it's being laid out for you. You haven't got to force it, but you do have to step through the door as it's offered to you. Or, well, I step through the door, step into the passage. There's a journey. Do you know, some of you may also actually be invited to travel. I've said a social event. Um, don't be put off if, if something involves travel or a distance. I, go the journey. So two of pentacles, you'll need to take action here. Um, you may even be invited to something you've never done before. Two of pentacles, like uh, like learning something new. Yeah, come and have a go at something. And somebody's saying to you, I, I want to go, uh, I don't know, I'm going to do a course. Do you fancy doing it too? Yeah, don't hold back. Yes, lovely. Okay, so Seven of Cups. So this is about making choices here. Get out of your own way. Don't hold yourself back. This is not a time to procrastinate, okay? Again, I'm seeing travel, the Knight of Pentacles. It's a steady energy. It, it's very Taurusy. It's a very steady energy. Um, there could be, I don't know, I'm going to say uh, somebody, this, this female person, she's walking on the ground here. She could be connected to some form of an earth sign or some kind of earth energy or some kind of healing course. With the Nine of Wands here, Nine of Cups and Nine of Wands, it it feels like um, this is like a, a final hurdle. You may even have tried something before and it didn't work out. I know I said for some of you this could be about love, about relationship, but this is this is something that you've really, really wanted. It's something you've come close to before, almost as if you sort of saw it in sight and then it vanished or disappeared or you thought it was going to happen and it didn't. But actually, this is now this is now the passageway through. It's the passage through those choppy waters to the end goal. And you know what the end goal is because it's something that you really, really, really want, beautiful souls, whatever that is for you. And you will be assisted. 
by a dark, yeah, I do see this long, dark-haired woman, even if it's tied up. Yeah, this is beautiful, beautiful souls, and it feels so sweet because it's like that nurturing energy of, of, of your, your spirit team just saying, look, get out of your own way. Don't be, don't be tangled in this. Just get out of your own way. Get out of your own head. Say yes. You know, you don't have to charge at this. You know, take it kind of step by step. But be focused. You know, be prepared to go the extra mile. Like It's really interesting, these sayings that are connected to travel. Go the extra mile. Obviously, go the extra mile, it's a metaphor. It's saying make the effort put the time in but for some of you yes go the extra mile maybe somebody says oh this this course and it's and you think I don't want to go to that course that you know that's like out of my area it will take me an hour to to travel there well go there go the extra mile find whatever that focus is it's worth investing in whatever the offer is the communication it's worth investing in and you're going to feel quite revitalized quite quickly, I think, here. Hope returning. This is going to be a really good fit in whatever, whatever that ultimate goal is that you have wanted for a long, long time. Beautiful pile too. This is a lovely, lovely, lovely reading. I do feel it's got an emphasis on social stuff. Even if your end goal, the torch you've been carrying, is actually to do with your calling or your purpose or your work, I think the connections are going to be made through something that is playful, light-hearted, um, social, like meeting that publisher or that agent or whatever it is at the party, at the wedding, at the gathering. Go the extra mile beautiful souls. The rewards are, are coming and they're being laid out for you. So this is not something you now have to force or make happen. Um, the passageway will be offered, the communication given, the invitation brought. Beautiful pile two. Take that step. Step by step by step. Yeah, step into the passageway, get out of your own way, go the extra mile. It's coming. Beautiful souls. I'm loving your reading. It just feels so loaded with pos pos I was gonna say positivity, possibility. It's gorgeous. The energy around you is gorgeous. You're being taken where you need to be, so you'll be at the in the right place at the right time. Beautiful souls, I'm loving your reading. I really am loving your reading. This new moon is primed for transformation. There's a lot of karmic energy coming through this moon month as well. If you haven't yet checked out the moon month overview with the, uh, there are Archangel Michael um, cards that I drew for every sign with a message for every zodiac sign in the same video as well. Do check it out because the energy flow is really, really interesting this month. It's quite intense, but it means that we can be focused. Anyway, I mean, I won't talk about it too much because I've spoken of it in that video, but that video, um, you know, really, I hope will help you to understand how to use the energy in a very focused way. So for you guys, it's about getting out of your own head, not worrying about something never coming and getting focused um, and, and following those signs and being aware of the synchronicities and the, uh, what we could just see as a coincidence, you know, yeah, I'm going back to this dark haired, long, dark haired woman. Um, so, yeah. If you see somebody selling something or whatever, just pay attention to those signs, beautiful souls. It could even be a song that's being sung by a dark-haired woman and the words of, those, of that song are, are giving you information that leads you in a particular direction. So be conscious and be aware of those things because, yeah, this is, I feel like it's going to gather momentum for you. Beautiful souls, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for being here, joining me for these readings. Do check out the Moon Month video. Tons and tons of love. Thank you all of you who are also, um, you know, following me over on Patreon as well. That's where I do my bigger extended All Zodiac readings. Beautiful souls, um, I look forward to seeing you for another reading soon. Tons and tons and tons of love. 
Hey, Pile 3, welcome to your reading. I'm really fascinated by your charms. And this card, Mars Motion, Suelo, the Rune of Wholeness. I can't help feeling that this new moon in Taurus is actually going to show you something that will literally put you on track. It will give you a clear direction. Almost like if you have not been certain about what way to go, it's like you find your North Star, you realign your compass. The peace sign, it feels like you could be finding your calling, literally, or embarking on a creative adventure, something you're going to love. And with this cross as well, I something that you could be really dedicated to. I do think there could be an essence of a calling or a spiritual pathway. Suelo, the rune of wholeness, is a rune that it really is the path you must follow. It's like it's it's a very, very spiritual energy. And with Mars motion, I just feel, yeah, you could really find a very clear direction. It does. It feels like your compass, your north star, something that is resonating with your heart. Um, really, really clear direction, something you could be committed to, dedicated to. Let's draw a ton more cards for you. First of all, may we have some tea leaves, please, for pile three. May we have tea leaves for pile three. This is such a huge pack. Okay, this is really interesting. Look at your first card just rocking up. It says increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. I suspect it might actually be both, quite frankly. I'm actually going to look at the card that is on the reverse of this pack. We have Rose. Romance is in the air. Okay. I just think this is something you're going to love. Something that sings to your heart. Let me move that card up for a moment so we have room. Let's draw more cards. I feel like this is both wealth. I mean, if we think of abundance as being not just money, though it can be, but, you know, the stuff that makes your heart sing, the stuff that makes you want to get up out of bed in the morning. There's something very powerful about finding a direction in your reading and really a really clear direction, beautiful souls. And the new moon energy really giving you that upgrade that will significantly change your world. So you have the depths, first of all. How interesting. We have community, the card of community. Oh, look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, wow. I feel like, do you know, if you're a bit of a lone wolf, um, I, I feel like you find your tribe of lone wolves. It's like you find your place. Mm, yeah, you find, you, and you find your cause. My goodness me, this is such an interesting reading. My goodness me, it's like um, you find your tribe or you step up, you belong, you find a sense of belonging, a sense of purpose. Your mission. Yeah, something that really sings from the heart for you. Really sings from the heart. May we have more cards, please, for pile three. Gosh, this is something that matters to you. It's like a cause. Your mission, your purpose, your calling, your cause, your direction your sole purpose even for the next chapter of your life. May I please have another card, please? We have nettle, action. Look at this, Mars, motion, nettle, action. Wow, this is, and this is Mars um, with, with Pluto. This is what this card is about, astrologically. Mars with Pluto. Pluto is about rebirth, it's making stuff happen, transformation. Mars, go, 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 go energy. My goodness me. I, I know I've said this in the other readings. If you've watched more than one, then you'll be checking in with that. But I have said, you know, do check out the moon month um, 
video. There are Archangel Michael readings in it for all zodiac signs as well, you know, a message. But do you know what? The, the energy for this moon month, which starts with this new moon in Taurus, it, there are some really intense, there's some intense energy, fast paced, fast moving energy. I feel like something happens that this moon is bringing that is going to launch you into action. It will be something that sings to your heart. You care about it. It matters. Oh, it really matters to you. The energy is very strong. Uh, and you will feel really like you must You must take action. Um, take up that sword. Take up that cause. Right. Let us see what else we are shown for pile three. What is the new moon bringing to significantly upgrade your life? May we have more information, please? Yes. We have the cards of the world. Okay. Wow, this is a new beginning. I mean, the world is both a completion and a new beginning. It's a, and look at the, um, I think this is like magnolia here. Wow, this magnolia, beautiful magnolia tree here with this bee, this honey bee. I feel like, you're being offered, I feel like you're being offered the world in some way. What is really interesting is that we have the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Okay. How interesting. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to say this is something that you didn't see coming. Okay. And it's really fascinating because actually the upgrade... I, I will say the upgrade may come from a circumstance that feels like it could have an element of friction in it. If if you do check out that moon month video, what, what you'll find is, and I've spoken about this, the energy is very intense and at, at times and quite fast, potentially fast moving. The way to handle that energy in this moon month is actually um, to recognize it's giving us focus. You know, when we're focused, we're channeling that energy. And obviously, if something amazing is happening in your world, that fast paced um, energy, intense energy is going to feel amazing. But if something more challenging is going on, you might find that, you know, it feels quite emotionally strong. I sort of feel like you're going to be called to pick up It's like picking up a cause almost. And yet with passion, We've got the peace energy here. You might even become the peacemaker. You might be called to be the mediator, the peacemaker, the person who steps up and has a voice for your community. But this matters to you at a deep, deep level. It really, really matters. Beautiful pile three. I think... I am going to draw more cards for you because I feel like you are going to be called to action. It's the pathway you must follow. Suelo is really, really clear. It leads, this is a pathway that leads to wholeness. And you have the rune of peace. So really interesting. Goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Your tea leaves are so positive. I feel like out of adversity or a challenging or a difficult situation, your call to action and you kind of, yeah, you find your tribe, you find your cause, you find your purpose. And, and yeah, I just feel this. there's something with great depth here. I think we need to draw more cards and find out kind of what this is really. May we have more information for pile three, please. May we have more information for pile three. Okay. More information, please, for pile three. Thank you so, so much. I'm seeing this one for you. I'm going to put this to one side. Okay, so the first card that's shown itself. Oh my goodness me. Right, how interesting. I thought it was a card and there are three. 
Okay, we're just going to use all of these cards. They've shown themselves to us, so that is what we are using here. So we have the card of justice, we have the two of wands, and we have the seven of pentacles. First off, right, okay. I think you are going to be called, you could find yourself in a situation where you currently sit on the fence over something. You, you know, you would be quite happy to just let it go one way or the other. But I think something's going to show up that will cause you to have to almost like come off the fence and take a more active role, okay, in, in a situation. We've got the card of community, so it could be your friends, you know, your family, but I, I think you're going to be called into a position where you're obliged to express an opinion, to have an opinion. It, it's not a time when you can sit on the fence. Something's going to be offered or created where you have to kind of say what you think. You have to say how it is. Okay. Yeah, you, you can't sit in the cave. You need to come out <laughs> and voice what you think. You've kind of, you can do it in a peaceful way, but you are going to need to say something. Very interesting. Rather than just feeling, it, it's like, you know, if someone is behaving in a way that feels really disappointing, it, it's not a time to sweep it under the carpet. You need to listen to the disappointment because it's helpful to you. So, I, I do feel initially you might feel a little bit challenged by it. I'm just saying initially you might wrestle with this sort of should I, shouldn't I? Do I say something? Don't I say something? A little bit. But the energy is suggesting that you will actually beneficially, you'll, you'll benefit from coming out of your cave and moving something forwards. We have the Three of Swords. I mean, this is the ending of a conflict and sometimes leaving something behind. We have the Four of Swords. So what we're seeing here is that you are going to be not, not rushing into this. I think you could feel like rushing into this. I think it could almost swing both ways. I th think some of you will sort of feel like just not getting involved at all, but it's a little bit emotionally driven, so you, you feel like you probably have to in the end, versus some of you just rushing in and being almost reactive over this. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. You're going to be able to process and work through this, okay? You know, of all people, you are someone who can handle this. You have the skills to be able to do this. I do feel like there's a real gain here. Eight of Pentacles. And, and again, we've got this goldfish increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. If something comes along and you feel like it's thrown you a curveball, beautiful pile three, it's bringing you really important information because it's taking you on the path that you must go down. Okay. If there's something that rocks up and you think, I can't sit on the fence, I need to say something. Or let's say you're part of a community group and you just, somebody says something and you just think, I just, I'm not enjoying this. It's not working for me. Well, don't feel you have to stay. It's okay to leave. It's, it's like something's coming in that's giving you good information and that good information is valuable to you. Let me just talk to you about the five of pentacles, you know. For me, the Five of Pentacles always indicates from an emotional perspective, some aspect of often disappointment. And in um, for those of you that are new to, my, to me, to my readings, my channel, um, I have a library. I have an online library that's completely free. It's a free resource, always will be free. Um, when I worked as a psychotherapist, which was my mainstream job for a long, long time, um, I kind of put together this library. There's a lot of information there because if you understand your emotions as a source of empowerment, because um, if you think of emotion as energy in motion, okay, disappointment, if we don't listen to it, we compound a situation. Disappointment is like an emotion that says we need to put on the brakes and have a proper review, this four of swords energy. Let's have a real good look at what's going on here and make some clear decisions. 
And I, I also wrote a book called Mindfulness Meets Emotional Awareness. I'll put the links to the library and the book just for any of you if you're struggling in any way with emotions. Th that book will teach you to use your most difficult emotions as a source of empowerment um, and not as a hindrance. Um, all of our emotions are really, really helpful to us if we really understand um, what they mean because they give us energy they help us to make clear choices I feel that you are going to be called to step up this may already be happening okay beautiful souls you may know already exactly what this is about because this is a new moon reading today is the new moon you may know exactly what this is about but if you are experiencing disappointment after disappointment it's telling you something about um, you know what to do and what not to do you're not obliged to hang out with disappointment. You know, it's like when someone says sorry and then they do the same thing again. Well, do you know that's really disappointing? How many times do you go back? And I've, I've told this little story in a few readings on occasions when it's shown up. I, I re-met somebody that I knew as a teenager many, many, many years later. And he was fascinating. I mean, he was really, really, really discerning in a really hard and fast way. He was like, you know, in my world, three strikes and someone's out. So I give them three chances. And he was like, trouble with you, Jenny, a hundred strikes, a hundred chances. And you're still going back saying, oh, can we talk about it? Can I try and help you fix it? And I, I really took on board what he was saying because he was basically basically saying, look, Jenny, you, you don't listen. You, you may be a counsellor because I was working full time then. And he just said, you may be a counsellor, but you're not listening to your own emotions. You're giving people too many chances. Um, you know, and actually it's not for you to judge, but it is for you to be discerning. And I feel there's something here in your reading um, about this. And it's actually, interestingly enough, it's, there's a, there's a, there's an additional bonus going on here. And this is the upgrade to your life, the significant upgrade, because whatever happens or is already happening that you know is affecting you, by making clear choices here, you're actually going, by, by taking action, it's taking you on a pathway that is going to be incredibly abundant and fruitful for you. So it's a really, really ultimately positive outcome. A bit like when that person said that to me, I really took that information on board and I started to make much clearer choices to draw much clearer boundaries. I had to work at it, Eight of Pentacles energy. I had to work at it because it wasn't natural for me to say no to something. But yeah, I feel you're going to take up the baton or run with something, move something forwards. It has depth, it has of, of emotional content to it. Um, the key is to think about it and analyse and be aware of what those feelings are about and take action. Um, you know, rather than just striking up battle, being battle ready, as it were, you're really, really actually using the energy as a source of empowerment. Also, what is super nice here with community, it could indicate that this is a change of... I don't know, change of community, change of friendship group, change of, of something, discernment kicking in, in using that energy well, but it's taking you on the path you need to go on. It's helping you to find your, realign your own compass, your own energy. And I said, you know, at the beginning, it's like a, a lone wolf finding a community of lone wolves to join and and this is your tribe so actually if you're around a circumstance or a situation or a group of people or a person and honestly you're not really resonating with one another or they're not resonating with you it's time to do something about it because the moment you take action you are going to then resonate and bring in the the tribe, the vibe, the people, the stuff, the abundance that you really, really want that resonates with you. So there's a lot of amazingness coming. I actually feel I want to draw just for you, pile three, a few more cards to kind of get almost like a sneaky peek into the future. Um, because I'm very conscious that it feels quite a powerful reading. It's actually a very positive reading, but I'm also aware that it feels strong a strong energy there's a vastly amazing outcome here with goldfish and rose but may we please may we please ask for more information a sneaky peek to where things are going 
Okay, so we have the Six of Swords with the Turtle Energy and the Two of Swords. That is absolutely stunning. What these cards are really saying is um, it, you need to move out of it, a, a situation or something that has felt stuck or stagnant is going to shift and move forwards. Two of Swords in a traditional pack indicates sometimes a conflict or indecision. But you know, the energy of the frog and this card in this position, this is certainly how I'm seeing it, is about cleansing, it's about renewal, it's about leaving a conflict behind. You know, the turtle and the frog are both facing forwards, they're looking ahead. Turtle energy is, you know, in native traditions, the turtle is a starting point the new starting point. When everything's out at sea, the turtle came along and said to all of the animals and the people, look, climb on my back and, and we will make, you know, and I will become an island and, and this, is, this is your dry land, this is your home. I think out of this situation and the transformation that will come from you needing to make a decision and take action, the new will come. You literally will move to a place where you're back on track, you're rebalanced, you're cleansed, there's renewal, there's opportunity for a new phase and a new beginning. The Six of Swords asks you to persevere. You know, there's an energy of moving forwards, kind of taking that leap, cleansing, releasing, moving beyond something and so much um, new opportunity here. It's really interesting, this Eight of Pentacles actually also sometimes indicates an opportunity, you know, like where, um, almost like where, where a hobby becomes a career pathway. I mean, I said about finding your calling, your purpose. Whatever, if you're in a situation, if this is referring to a situation in your working world and it's just becoming untenable, well, it is now time to let go and move beyond it to take action and start to let go of of the stuff that isn't working for you and embrace what will you know so we're seeing massive potential coming forwards and coming out of the need to make a decision something reaching a turning point where something kind of has to transform it has to give and even if it's a bit uncomfortable ultimately it's leading you in the direction that you need to go in, Suelo, the path you must follow, bringing you in alignment with your North Star. You're being shown information here to help you to create the new pile three. It's it's so 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 clear, and you know you know you are offered so much potential reward from making this change and making this transformation, taking those actions in response to whatever is happening that is not resonating with you and whatever comes to a head. Beautiful souls. Um, this looks to be incredibly eventful for you. Um, do check out that Moon Month reading. Do check out that book if it is helpful to you. Do check out my library as well. Um, if that is um, of value to you, there is a wealth of information in there to assist you with psychology, emotions, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of transitions and things. And um, there are meditations as well to help you to process um, emotions too. That may be really, really helpful to you too. Beautiful souls, thank you for joining me for this reading. I am really, really looking forward to doing readings for you in the future. Um, I'm really seeing, um, seeing you getting on track and following that pathway, that calling. Something really amazing is coming out of this scenario and this situation. Beautiful souls, I do also have a timeless readings playlist. And if you do check that out, I'll put it in the description box along with all the other links that may be helpful to you. Um, those timeless readings playlists um, are full of readings that ask very specific questions like, is this person trustworthy? How will this situation pan out? Is this a yes or a no? It's a resource, you know, the, the readings are there as a resource. You can 
always find a reading if you find that you are needing an extra bit of guidance and I post readings a couple of times a week and always on Sunday um, for weekly guidance literally every Sunday we ask spirit for a message that you need to know about a time sensitive message right here right now and any information for the coming week to help you to navigate whatever's taking place in your world so do access those readings the library the online library all of these things um, they are there as a free resource for you. Beautiful souls, I'm sending you all the love in the world. Um, pile three, um, the outcome is going to be fantastic. Tons and tons and tons of love to you.